get a recording going. And we are live almost. And we are. And we're live. All right, good, 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 good. Here we go. Here we go, folks. Um, where are you going? We are 100% human today. 100%. All right, let's get it cranking. Uh, take your feet, kind of spread them apart just a little bit. Pick your arms right here. Take a deep breath right here. And let's breathe through the nose, right? Breathe out. You can breathe through the mouth as you come, as you come out. Breathe in through the nose. You're outside. Fill yourself with that outside air. Should be good. Breathe out. That little expansion of the ribs as you come up. And let's get one more. Here we go. Last one. All right, keep those uh, feet wide. Take an arm up uh, and bring the hips forward and down. Back leg is straight and then down. Rotate other way. Oh, yeah. Other side. Come down. Repeat. Other side. Open up that little front line there. If you're gonna do one stretch in the morning, this is probably it, right? Because we're getting the whole anterior line, this hip, this shoulder, this overhead reaching, right? Hip extension and um, shoulder abduction like this, shoulder overhead, is uh, probably our two movements that we lose the most. So if we're gonna practice a couple of movements, we just have very little time, something like that. Arm overhead, hip extended. Let's rotate those shoulders going back. Pulling the shoulders onto the back. Get that going again, keep that breath going through the nose deeply. Let's go backwards. Or I guess this is forwards, isn't it? Forwards with the shoulders. There we go, good. Let's turn that into a backstroke kind of action with the arm. I wish I could get the, I wonder if there's a different aspect ratio that I can do with my zoom because I know I go out of frame. I don't know. It's not altogether clear what's happening with my arms when I'm overhead here. There we go. We're starting to get a little movement through that chest. All right, let's turn it into a forward stroke, like a crawl. Here we go. Forward. Forward. Yeah, some people wonder, you know, what should I do in my off days from boot camp? Well, generally, let's make this point, left and right and ahead, that with low intensity exercise, there's almost not a ceiling on what you can do and what you should be doing, right? So the more you can walk, the more movement generally you can get in through your day, the better. Right, it's called NEAT, non-exercise activity thermogenesis. And it is basically one of the best things you can do for yourself. Let's go forward and back of the head. So, <coughs> if you're doing boot camp and you're like, what else can I do? The next thing I would say is just become someone who's looking for more opportunities to move throughout your day. So if you can walk two blocks to go to the store, stick the head in a circle, or if you can take the stairs instead of the, ed instead, of the ele instead of the elevator, or if you can walk around the block talking on the phone instead of sitting at your desk, make those choices, right? I mean, 10,000 steps is a nice thing to shoot for. It's not always possible because we have lives to leave and, and families to raise and jobs to do. But if you can hit close to that, that's a really good step. Take the hips in a nice circle. You know, and if you want to make it, okay, I'm going to go for a hike. I'm going to go for a long hike. That's great. But if you just kind of turn on the, um, the intention throughout your day that I'm going to move as much as I can, right, in the course of everything else, then life will improve. Yeah, that's your next step. All right, good. Let's tilt the feet inside and out. N-E-A-T, non-exercise activity thermogenesis. 
you'd be surprised how many calories that actually burns. Not to say that caloric burn is your only reason to, uh, to exercise, to move, but it's a big one for people. It's also a nice mood booster. Do things like housework, chores, gardening, things like that. You do those things, all that counts. That's non-exercise activity thermogenesis. Circle the outside of your foot. And EAT, so let's see what we can do this next couple weeks. You lean on that, all right, how much movement can I get throughout my day? And most people have a tracker on their smartphone or a smartwatch that goes, we're switching to the other foot now. It counts your steps, okay? So you probably, without even knowing it, you probably are keeping track without even knowing. So if you look at your watch and you go, oh my gosh, I'm getting 2,000 steps a day, Feet, uh, hands in the um, golf position here, extend them out, squeeze the shoulders. Then just see if you can crank that 2,000 steps up to maybe 2,200 or 2,500, right? And then go 3,000, yeah? And just see how, you can, how much you can do without disrupting your life, without making your whole life about how many steps it might take. Flip the hands over, squeeze the shoulder blades going back. Same thing. Breathing, breathing, breathing. More shoulder action. Let's make those shoulders, those sh circles slightly larger. Get them a little bigger. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, do a little yoga plex for the hips today, a little closed chain action. So let's take one leg, step it back, let's take the hands, put them on the ground right next to that front leg, and just hang out right there, kind of spider man stretch. Then might as well take that arm right here, bring it up to the sky. Oh yes, back leg is super straight. And take that front leg, just bring it back, push it into down dog. There we go, and then other leg steps forward, back leg super straight, right? Again, this is, this is spider man, yeah? This shin wants to be vertical, okay? So we don't want this foot way back here in this position. We want it vertical, okay? Other arm here like this, up. If you need it, you can have your hands on something. You can have your hands elevated. Yeah? This position is not accessible to everybody in the universe. Believe me, I understand. That leg goes back, back to down dog. Oh, yeah. Push the floor away from you. Push the heels down toward the ground. Back to the other leg. Back to that arm up in the sky. I said this feels amazing right now. That leg goes back into down dog. That arm up. Pick up my arms and legs and keys. Bring it down. That leg goes back. Down dog again. Push. Bring it back. There we go. And down. Then that leg goes back one more side here. Open it up. Oh, golly. That's another one you can do, I would say. So in addition to the one where you're doing this, the one we just did, it's gonna be a really good one. Okay, nice. Let's go into Grace Jones real quick. Grace Jones, as some people might remember, was an icon of the 80s. She had an album cover where she was doing this pose, this Warrior Three. She was doing it much better than I am. Maybe not better than you guys are doing it. But, beautiful shot of her. And so I had a client who said, oh, this is the Grace Jones. And I love that name for it. So, Grace Jones it is. Lift that leg as high as you can. We want to think. I, I will, I will uh, send you guys that album cover so you guys can see Grace Jones doing beautiful. Warrior three. Woo! Without, without uh, balance issues. Let's go. One more each side. And last one. There we go. We are stretched. Okay. See how we're doing? All right, good. We've done our 10 minutes of a little bit of joint mobility. Let's take it an easy jump. Let's go left and right. Left and right, nice and loose through the arms. <sighs> Loose through the face, right? It's like we're about to go in the ring, right? Left and right. This is good, this is good. Let's take it to a jumping jack, why not? We'll do three levels, right?
three slow, three medium, three fast. Or rather, five, five, and five. So here we go. One, two, three, one. This is slow. Two, one, two, three, three, two, three. One, two, three, five. Let's go medium. One, two, three. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, one, two, three, five. And let's go a little faster. One, two, three, four, and five. All right. Nice job, everybody. We're ready to go. Go ahead and grab yourself a drink of water. Let me say hi to everyone who's here. I think my nephew, Ben Samuels, is here. He is. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. It's good to see you, Ben. Good to see you, Derek. Good to see you, James, John, and Patricia. All right, I was all, I had my correct pronunciation of Tamara's name all queued up, so hopefully she'll be here. Maybe she'll be a little late, or maybe she's coming tomorrow. All right, so we're gonna play around with, uh, we're gonna start with a little core today, okay? We're gonna mix things up a little bit. A little core, a little bit of uh, glute extension, and then we're gonna move on to other stuff. So, starting with core. We're going to do what's called an X-Man setup. I just learned this one from my friend Deus, who got it from Jeff Cavalieri. So here we are. We're at X, right? We're going to take it up here like this. Reach the hands toward the feet. Then we're going to come down and reach it up again. Down, reach it up. Down, reach it up. Now, just like in all these other moves, we want to keep our lower back close to the ground. If you can't keep your lower back to the ground while you lower your leg, just don't lower as far. There's your X right there, okay? If you can keep it down all the way to the floor, then keep it down all the way to the floor. Let's do 35 more seconds, all right? Here we go, working that stomach. Now, if you have to take a break, right? If you're like, I can't go anymore, just pause, right? Just take a little bit of a pause and then reset, okay? Always your option is do a little less, go a little slower, or take a little break, okay? And then if you want more, you can always do the opposite. Go a little faster, go a little harder, right? I'll make the movement a little bit larger, or, um, or uh, just squeeze the muscle a little bit harder, okay? In all those cases, you will get a little bit more intensity. Good, and stop right there, good. Now we're gonna do the glute march. We did this, uh, we've done this before, okay? We're gonna walk the feet up as close as we can toward the uh, glutes, okay? So let's start here, let's start with this one. Feet are close in, slightly turned out. Lift the hips as high as you can. Move your mace away from your head. Lift as high as you can. We'll get the glutes on and the hamstrings over to this. We're gonna slowly walk one foot at a time, just a little bit out, keeping the space here underneath the butt. Then walk it back in again, okay? That's hard, okay? And the further you walk the feet forward, the harder it is, okay? So, if you're not feeling it, just walk the feet to here. If you're really feeling it, walk under here, but keep space underneath, okay? Let's go. Let's give this 45 seconds, a little bit longer here because the, um, the reps take a little bit longer, okay? So keep going, walk it out. Keep that lower back and the glutes off the ground the whole time. So we've got hip extension, we've got some, um, some hamstring work here, and then we'll come to a standing move, okay? So here we go, make it work, crank it out. We're doing good, all right? Good space behind. Relax the head and the neck onto the, uh, onto the uh, mat below you. All right? 15 more seconds to go. Work it hard. Let's go. Let's crush it, Derek. Let's crush it, Ben. Let's crush it, Dad. Let's crush it, John Short and Patrizia. Hey, it's a guy-heavy uh, guy class today. How about that? Three, two, one, stop. Good. Come on up. Okay. Now we got to really crush the legs here. we got to do something standing up here, don't we? Okay. So we're going to do a 45-degree lunge. We're going to take it stepping out at a 45-degree angle this way. The foot actually goes on this line right here. So we're going to step it out, get as low as we can, then back to center. Other side, stepping out, low as we can, back to center. Okay? Crank it out. Let's go. One side and the other side. Get as low as you can, right? Try to get into that hip and that knee. Okay? Cranking it down. We're going to do 30, about 27 more seconds here. 45-degree lunge. 45-degree lunge. Get low if you can. You want to hold, them some, to hold some dumbbells? You're feeling strong? Go ahead and grab a couple dumbbells. All right? So here we got – it's kind of cool to work the, these moves in this order because we've just warmed up the hips and the glutes. So this 45-degree lunge probably feels a little better. Probably feels like a little bit more controlled, and maybe there's a little pressure off your knees because 
those glutes are fired up now. So I like this order of things, all right? Give me about five more seconds, and then we're actually gonna do one more move. It's gonna be a four, a quadra set. Just made that up. All right, good, stop there. Now, we do need dumbbells for this, so I'm gonna grab them. Gonna need some dumbbells. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a curl to press alternating sides, okay, very simple. Turn your feet parallel, shoulder width, take one side, curl it up, press it overhead. As that one's coming down, they're gonna meet in the middle, and we're gonna press overhead. Then we meet in the middle, we press overhead. Meet, press. There's our move, every other side, okay? Press up. Again, like I said before, this overhead reaching movement is something that we often lose in life. There's a lot of stuff going on there. There's thoracic spine mobility, there's the capacity of the shoulder blades to glide, right? So focus on that reaching up. That's why I'm having you do, you do it one, one arm at a time. Think you're reaching for something. Don't just press it, you know, to here, okay? Keep going. Give me about 25 more seconds. Alternate any sides. Make sure the dumbbells are meeting in the middle, right? We're not going one all the way up and down, other one up. So there's no rest, right? Both sides are always working. Meet in the middle, press. Meet in the middle, press. Again, you feel good, you can go a little faster. Just dial your form in. You don't feel so good, just go a little slow. We'll take a break if you need to. Five seconds, and we go back to our first move. We're doing four moves in a row, 12 sets, sans break. Pretty good, good stop there. Let's go back, X-Man, X-Man setup, here we go. Or X-Woman, X-Man, X-Person of Indiscriminate Gender. Take your lower back, press it to the ground, okay? Take the legs here, again, spread out. Take the arms here, lower down, breathe out. Breathe out. Here's our X-Men sit-up. It's so good. Give me 30 more seconds of it. All right? Again, watch that lower back. Keep that lower back on the ground. You feel that lower back peeling up off the ground. Limit your range of motion. Slow it down. You really want to really dial that in. Get that spot on precise. Okay? As I said before, we want intensity, but we want the integrity at the same time. We want the form. We want everything looking good and feeling good, right? Not sloppy. Okay? So if it's sloppy, it starts to get sloppy. Make it easier, take that break if you need it. Three, two, one, stop. Okay, hip extension, stay on the back. Stay on the back, here we go. Bring, walk the feet in, let's start in 10 seconds. Here we go, take a break, turn the feet out just a little bit. Go ahead and press through the heels, lift the hips as high as you can, and let's go walk it forward. Walk it forward as high as we can, as far as we can. And we should feel the whole uh, lower body, lower back, glutes. Hamstring, really working here. Then step it up. One little step at a time and all the way back to the glutes. Step it far up towards your body, okay? This is a great way to turn on that posterior chain. There's go muscles. We really wanna get those go muscles going. It's also just, it feels good. It feels good to turn those muscles on and feel like, you know, we got support from the back of our body. It's not just here that's working. It's here, we're open to the world, all right? Keep it going, 10 more seconds on this guy. 10 more seconds, three, two, one, stop. Okay, here's our alternating 45 degree lunge. I'm gonna change it though, okay? We're gonna go 45, 90, and then reverse. We're gonna do a star lunge this time, okay? It's gonna be amazing, okay? Truly amazing. So, revert, repeat what you did before, 45 degree lunge out here, come down low, okay? Then 90, straight out, we did this last time. Then reverse lunge, take it back. Then other side goes back, we're gonna continue in a circle, then we step out with this side, and then we go 45 this side. Does that make sense? 45, straight out to the side, straight back. Straight back with the other leg, straight out to the side, 45. So we're really working that, those hips and those leg muscles from all these different angles. Again, the body is not all 90 degree angles right? It's lots of swishy, curvy, roundy movements, right? So let's, let's reinforce that, practice that in the way we exercise. All right, keep going. 15 more seconds on this. Now, remember, not every angle is going to be perfect. You just do what you can in each direction. Always what you can, yeah? So you might have one, you might be really good at the 45, not so good at the straight after the side. You just work what you can. Good. Stop there. Okay. Great, let's get our dumbbells. Fourth move here, folks. We're doing crazy, we're going giant set, okay? Let's take a breath, 
and start. Curl, press. As that comes down, we meet in the middle. Press. Make it precise. Curl to press. Make it precise. No momentum, right? Open up those ribs. Breathe. Breathe. If you want, if you're feeling cranky in the lower back, for instance, you can work with a staggered stance here. So one leg is slightly forward, one leg is slightly back. That might make, that might solve that, okay? Just remember, if you do that, on our third set, switch the leg that's forward, okay? All right, give me about eight more seconds here, and then we'll get our third and final round, okay? Third and final round. Three, two, one, stop, good, breath, okay? Grab water, we are gonna do one more, but it's the third round. Third set. We want to make the best set. So we want to take a little breath just to be able to really commit to that. Okay? So X-Man push, X-Man sit-ups, hip extension, lunge, star lunge, curl to press. Okay? In a row, 45 seconds each. We're really going to crush it here. Okay? So put your mind and your muscles, dial in your form, and let's crush it. Here we go. Starting in three, two, one, let's go. X-Man sit-ups. X-Man. Who's our favorite X-Man? Storm, Cyclops, Wolverine. Who else? Who else? What are the other X-Men? Uh, Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler. He's good. He's fun. Um, Phoenix. Phoenix, of course. Yes, Jean Grey. Um, I like how there's a superhero just named Jean Grey. It's like, it's like, <laughs> she couldn't come up with a good name, so she's Jean Grey. All right, give me about five more seconds on this guy. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Good. Hip extension, right? Going to start in about another five seconds. So we're still lying down. Go ahead and lift the hips. Get that hip extension and that tightness through those glutes. And let's walk it forward. Little bit at a time. Don't take big steps. Take little steps. And little steps going forward. The whole time, you want to keep those hips high, right? I don't want to go, okay, I'm, I'm high in my hips, and then I lower them and walk it out. No, I want to keep those hips as high as I can. I want to be a straight line between my knees and my shoulders the whole time. My hips are going to drop, but only because my feet are walking forward here. You see that? And then I come forward, and hips come up. So at no point do I break at the hips. I want to stay extended the whole time. All right? Stay strong. we got about eight seconds on this guy. Eight seconds, what do we got? Can we do it? All right, good job. I'm seeing some good movements. I'm seeing some, some living rooms and some kitchens. They look great. All right, good, stop there, nice work. Let's go into our star, star. A lot of, move, a lot of shapes here, stars, X's. Star lunges here, okay? So here we go, let's start with the other leg, okay? Let's go, 45. Step way out frame there. Right out to the side right back, and then other side, right back, right out to the side, get into that hip, and then 45 right here. Take it as low as you can each time, right? We got those hips warmed up. Everything should be juicy right now. We should feel nice and smooth. It should work well, right? Getting into those legs, that's important, all right? We're getting there, 15 seconds and 15 minutes to go. Look at that nice, nice uh, symmetry of things there. All right, give me, Five more seconds on this, and then we've got our overhead curl to press. This has been 12 sets, ladies and gentlemen. Very nice work. Three, two, one, stop. Good. Let's grab our dumbbells, and let's get into the curl to press. Can't neglect the upper body here, right? So, feet parallel, shoulder width. Take a breath. And curl it up, press it. Again, if you are doing the staggered stance thing, Take the step, the leg that was forward last time and bring it back this time, right? A little bit of asymmetry is actually not a bad thing, right? You just wanna make sure to work it asymmetrically in both directions at one point or another, right? We're not symmetrical creatures, right? Our hearts are over on this side, our liver's on this side, I think, right? We were left-handed or we're right-handed, yeah? So in, when we're working out, it's good to work asymmetrically. Just make sure that you're working asymmetrically equally both sides, right? Good, we're getting there. Give me about 10 more seconds 
And then we're out on this particularly challenging quadra set here. Giant set. Three, two, one. Well done. All right, we got core in it. We got hip extension, we got legs, and we got upper body pressing and curling. That's pretty awesome. Taking a break, have a little drink here. This is good. We gotta work some pulling now, upper body pulling, that's important. Let's work a little arms, because that's good. And maybe a little more hip extension, we'll see. We'll see, we'll just see where we go here. Okay, so <coughs> um, let's work like this. Let's do another prone, uh, an exercise on the ground, a little prone exercise, we'll start with that. We're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our thumbs up and back, okay? Thumbs go up and back. So here we are prone. Let's turn on our mat. Thumbs are up. Nose is facing toward the mat. I'm just gonna crank my arms back here like this, and I'm gonna slowly lower them, barely touch the ground, and then back up. Now, I wanna make sure these arms are not here. I'm a T, I'm straight out to the side, and I'm squeezing between my shoulder blades and squeezing the backs of my shoulders, okay? So keep going through this about another 30 seconds. So from the top, I look like this. I don't look like this, and I don't look like this. I'm not a Y, I'm a T, okay? It's not the YMCA, it's the YTCA, okay? Well, that stands for, we got the idea. So straight up, thumbs are up in the sky. I'm squeezing these muscles in my back, right? And these muscles in the back of my shoulders. I'm squeezing right there, okay? This is body weight, folks. It should be doable, all right? Okay, let's go for another five seconds on this guy, all right? All right, three, two, one, and stop. Okay, grab some light dumbbells if you have them. Light dumbbells, okay? So we got our ground ball, ground ball movements here, okay? So we're gonna come down, we're gonna take our dumbbells here like this, okay? From here, we're gonna Jackie Robinson over to the side and give me two curls. Then we're gonna Jackie Robinson back, two curls, right? So we're gonna do this little hobble, hobble thing, staying low the whole time, double curl, keep the back flat as you work, double curl, okay? There's our move, make it strong, okay? So this is a little side to side action, the legs are working and we got a little Little arm curl here. Now, how do we make it easier? How do we make it harder? Quick tutorial on that. Make it easier by standing a little taller, right? Make it harder by really sinking into those legs, double curling, and moving as fast as we can, right? Quick, quick, fast as we can, okay? So you work what you can. What I don't want to see is a rounded back, okay? I want to see the back tall, okay? So we're getting into those hips. We're making the back tall. This is good. This is hard. Ten more seconds on this one. All right, three, two, one, stop. All right, good. Once again, we do some abs. This time we're gonna go side plank, all right? Now, watch for the specifics. Lie on one side. My elbow is right underneath my shoulder. My legs are extended. My um, top leg is slightly forward and my back leg the toe, the, the toe of the bottom leg is against the heel of the, of the front. Then I'm gonna push, I'm gonna lift my hips off the ground, I'm gonna be a straight line here. Then I'm gonna take my top arm, feed it underneath, and then open. Underneath, and open. Underneath, and open. Okay, how do I make this one easier? Bend your knees, stack them, and then I'm a shorter lever arm, and I want to work this up, okay? So, that's your move. I'm gonna switch it up to the other side in 10 seconds, okay? Top arm swings up and back. Top arm swings up and back. We got a little glue here, we got a little shoulder here. We got the abs there, of course. Good, three, two, one, stop, switch to the other side. Again, stack it up. Feet, top foot is in front. The heel of that top foot is against the toe of the bottom foot. I push myself up, space here. Top, take the top arm, bring it up, and bring it down. Bring it up, bring it down, again. Make it easier by bending your knees 90 degrees and or holding this arm static. Pull that shoulder blade onto your back, all right? And then we're gonna go through this whole sequence again. Let's go 10 more seconds on this. We're doing good, 801, this is great. Good, three, two, one. All right, good, from there, you're already on your mat. Let's go back to lateral raise, thumbs up. 
Here we go. Starting in three, two, one, 30 second set. Here we go. Crank it up. Get that back. Make it work. Don't look up here. For keep the back of your neck long. Look down toward the floor. Little moves there. Give me about 15 more seconds. This is good. This is good. Again, this is posterior work. Posterior work. So important to be able to open ourselves. Not just bench pressing. That's important. Push ups. That's important. Pressing. That's important. You gotta get that back body fired up. Good. Three, two, one. Stop. All right. Well done. Good. This is our this is our fielder curls. Okay. Fielder curls. We didn't expect this one, did we? All right, so get down in that low position, however low you can handle right now. And it's gonna give you 30 seconds here. Get that side to side movement, double curl on one side, side to side. Again, double curl, right? Again, if you wanna make it quick, a, a little slower, you can do that. But if you wanna go lower, double curl fast, quick, quick, double curl, then that's good, all right? All right, good. Give me 10 more seconds of this. This is a hard one. Crank it out. Guys are looking good. Double curl. Stay long and tall through that chest and uh, back. Three, two, one. You're done with that. Nice job. Good. Side plank once again. Here we go show you guys a little variation on this. Side plank now goes like this. I'm here. I'm in front plank, okay? Take the elbows and bring them parallel like this. Take one arm, bring it back. Okay, then come down, other arm, bring it back. So now I'm alternating sides. It's the same movement, but instead of sticking on one side and then shifting to the other, uh, you know, just discreetly one and then the other, I'm alternating. One rep one way, one rep the other, okay? Keep that going. Give me 10 more seconds on this, and we got our third and final round on these guys. This is good, this is nine sets in a row, and we're doing three tough moves. Six more minutes in the workout, what do you got? Three, two, one, done with this guy. All right. So stay where you are. Our last one, last sequence here, okay? Take a breath, take it down, thumbs are up, right? We're on our chest, back of the neck is long, toe is toward, uh, toe. nose is towards the ground. Let's bring them out and let's get 30 seconds. Crank it here. If you don't, if this doesn't feel good on your shoulders, go slower. Put your mind in the muscles and make the muscles do the work. The reason you get shoulder pain when you do this is because you're using momentum to lift the arms and that's cranking on those ligaments a little bit, okay? So if you go slow and make the muscles squeeze it and make the muscles lift, then you will not feel that pain. All right, this is good guys. Ben, Derek, Dad, John Short, Patricia, you guys are the best. Good, five more seconds to go to get our left to right. Double curls here, stop right there. Okay, good. Come to standing, get your dumbbells. Let's get ourselves some side hopper fielder curls, all right? So here we go, let's get tall. Put that winter coat on so we can't move the torso. Drop the center, take the arms down. Give me side to side, double curl. Side to side, double curl. Come on, side to side, double curl. Let's go. Fast if you can, right? Stay in low if you can, yeah? Keep it going. Double curl. There's our move. Stay with it, guys. This is it. Give me about another 10 seconds on this. This is not easy. Keep it going. Double curl. Go fast. Bam, bam. Quick, precise movements, right? We want that frontal plane movement. We want to be able to move left to right, not just forward and back. Good. Three, two, one, and stop. All right. Good job. So um, we got those. We got those, and we got our side plank, right? A little moment, I didn't remember. All right, so side plank. This time on side plank central. Let's go high plank, so the arms are long. Arms are long. Take one arm, bring it up. We don't want to be this. We don't want to be this. We want to be a long line. Then down, open. Down, open. Keep that floor pushed away from you with that arm, right? Don't collapse that shoulder. Push it away, make yourself long. Good, give me about 20 more seconds on this, all right? We've got 20 seconds on this move. We've got four minutes in our, in our, uh, look down here. You guys are doing great. All right, low battery. All right, 
Keep it going. We're almost there. Open it up. Feel good. Three, two, one. Stop. Good job, everyone. Grab your drink of water. Take a breath for a second. We're not quite done. We got one more hard thing to do. And then we will be done. We're moving to cool down. All right. So people think jogging in place is some kind of remedial exercise. I will show you that it's not. Okay. What we want to do is we want to do a high knees jog in place. Okay. Three levels, 10 seconds at each one, increasing intensity each time. So come on up to stand. Just give me this. Just give me knees lifting up. You can touch the hand to the opposite knee just to feel that for a second. Just for a second. All right, just to remember what that is. And then taking it to just an easy jog like that. Okay? That's what we're doing. Okay? Good. Three, two, one. Stop. Okay, that's easy. Now here's our 30 second blast. Okay? Knees high, low, low intensity, medium intensity, high intensity. Starting now, let's go low intensity. Okay, 10 seconds. So low intensity is still pretty high, right? Get those knees up as high as you can. Okay? as high as you can each time. Quick off the ground. Here we go. Medium intensity, let's go a little faster. Here we go. What do you got left? What do you got left? So medium intensity, still push, right? This is a push, this is for real. And let's go fast. What do we got? Quick, drive those knees up high. Come on, come on. Last thing of the day, let's go, let's go hard. Three, two, and stop. All right, guys, well done. We did it. Another quick drink of water if you want it. And we're gonna do an easy cool down now. Take some deep breaths. That was very good. Take the arms, reach them up. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, come on down. Hang on. Back is long. Head is hanging down toward the floor. Roll up again, reach up, ah, we're now transformed, right? Going through a lot, kind of touch that warrior spirit a little bit, roll it up, warrior spirit, yeah. Couple more, come down, hang it over, roll it up. All right, good. Now, you're in a sphere, right? You're in your bubble. Go ahead and paint the insides of your bubble with your hands. Rotate the legs, rotate the feet, reach it out. How big can you get here? Take it down, pick it up, paint the insides, right? It's your whole giant aura here. Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> there we nice go. Job. Good, nice job. Just a little bounce here. <sighs> Good. And final thing, go ahead and take the hands into prayer position. Bring the feet together, elbows out, press those palms together, create a little tension, just a little bit. Don't make it really intense. Deep breaths. Feel the pulse points between the fingertips. Moment of nice peace here, right? Close your eyes. Feel that, that uh, air on your skin, right? All around you. So just be on intake here for a moment. Feel the, the air around you. Listen to the sounds around you. Feel that floor holding you up, your skeleton holding you up. Your breath out, go ahead and let it go. Arms down at the sides. That's your workout, folks. Good job. You guys are all warriors. Really appreciate it. Derek, Ben, Dad, John Short, Tricia, Tricia. Appreciate it. Instagram, thank you all for being here. Too many names to list. <laughs> I will talk to you guys soon. So tomorrow morning we have 8 a.m. And remember, I sent this out to you guys. You can always stream the workouts. So if you miss, you're like, ah, I can't get up. It's age too early. The workout will be posted. So you can always stream it. And the, um, the menu to get to that is, uh, is in the emails I send out, okay? Thanks so much for being here. Peace, have a great day.